Hello, uh, my name is Alexander Kozlov and I'm a CTO at Cloudbear. This presentation is overview about our processor IP portfolio. Cloudbear uh, product portfolio divided into three product line series. Uh, first, BM series, which targets small and efficient MCU cores. Uh, it's represented by BM310, uh, 32-bit microcontroller core. Uh, later today, we will have a detailed presentation about it. Please join it. And it is, uh, it's a 64-bit version BM610. Second series is BR series, which are fast and uh, compact. Uh, cores. Uh, and I say fast, I mean cores which uh, could be clocked above one gigahertz at modern technology nodes. Uh, BR series includes uh, two cores uh, at the moment. Both are dual issue, and one is a 32 bit BR uh, 351, and another is 64 bit BR 651. These cores are embedded cores for high performance control, acceleration, and the floating functions. Uh, and what is shown at the bottom of the slide is BI series, Linux capable machines ranging from IoT level core BI350 uh, to high performance out of order core BI671. Uh, and in the middle power efficient dual issue BI651. So let's uh, start with uh, BM, BM series. In BM series, we have two cores. Uh, actually, it's almost the same core from RTL perspective because implementation use uh, the same code base. Uh, our course are uh, based on uh, system Verilog implementation and traditional ED flow. So you can just switch uh, between 32 and 64 bit versions by only changing single parameter. So that's uh, mostly the same uh, code. It is two, uh, two three stage pipeline single issue core featuring multiple RISC-V standard extensions. It is a metro core, metro core uh, which is uh, silicon proven at customer site. It is highly configurable, so you will be able to select and configure not only extensions which you need, uh, but also pipeline, uh, performance features, memory subsystem, including tightly coupled memories and caches, and as well as um, configure uh, and select um, interrupt controller configuration, uh, input output interfaces protocols, uh, and debugging features. More details about features uh, support that you can get from presentation, which will be later today. Uh, for your reference, uh, Dry stone, traditional dry stone uh, and core mark benchmarks are given here at this slide. Note uh, that we don't use any proprietary extensions uh, at this benchmark and we are fully standard risk 5 compliant in contrast to this um, IP uh, companies adding proprietary instructions to improve uh, dry stone and core marks numbers. That's fully uh, based on the standard extensions. We also show here new popular benchmark and bench IoT, which in contrast is synthetic uh, dry stone and core mark uh, consists of real programs used in IoT applications. The score value of uh, this benchmark uh, shows how much time your core is faster than reference machine, which is ARM Cortex M4. So that number means uh, that PM310 is 19% faster than Cortex M4, and uh, BM610 is a 30, 
four uh, percent faster. In practical uh, examples, uh, we achieve uh, 150 to 700 megahertz at 28 nanometer worst case conditional silicon uh, for this core. It's of course it's highly dependent on the configuration, on the PyPy configuration, and uh, the process node and memory compiler. But uh, customer can choose uh, and optimize that particular node by configuring the core. Uh, as an IP company, we already face some type of application in which uh, such processor could be used. Initial customers looks at um, deeply embedded cases uh, for this course, uh, for example, to control for control path in uh, processing pipelines, such as uh, networking, uh, wireless base baseband, uh, video pipelines, uh, control uh, some accelerators like AI accelerators. For such use cases, uh, usually customer enough with, uh, basic configurations like RVIC or RV32-bit IMC configurations with the basic feature set. Uh, but in some cases, uh, we saw that uh, core or couple of cores not only could uh, I would call it do state machine like job, but uh, run complex management software uh, like SSD controllers, uh, wireless controllers, uh, wireless band based processing chains like WiMAC uh, processing chains or wearable devices. In this case, uh, more featured configuration are useful, uh, including atomic extension to speed up uh, critical section and real time operation systems and simplify intercore communication. V extension, which is uh, until now still draft in draft state in standard, uh, but uh, supported by CloudBear with the hardware and the software tool. Uh, an extension to speed up uh, interrupt handling uh, and to speed speed up uh, control code, uh, you also want uh, to include uh, dynamic uh, branch prediction likely. Uh, in deeply embedded cases, uh, chip users usually don't see core from outside world, but we already get case where microcontroller is visible to the user and fully programmable. Our public customer, Melander, has built low power MCU chip for smart metering applications based on BM310 core. In first generation of smart metering devices, they used ARM Cortex M0, but in new generation, what customer cares are to improve performance, uh, make performance better than uh, Cortex M4 at lower power and to fulfill the uh, high precision uh, measurements required. Uh, also what customer want is, wants uh, is uh, to reduce uh, royalty fees since uh, he goes for high volume and want to reduce the unit price. And as well differentiate product, product by security and crypto features. Engineering samples of this uh, chip is already available, and soon I believe we will show, we will show some uh, demos based on it. Um, for as for 64-bit version of uh, BM uh, Core, uh, it is a BM610, which is ideal for measurement and housekeeping application in large. Uh, system on chip. It can address full SOC address space, control power, perform security work, uh, secure boot, uh, implement crypto algorithms since 64-bit uh, uh, B extension is supported. And you know that crypto uh, heavily rely on the B extension. Uh, 
another product series is uh, BI series. It is also embedded course, but target high performance uh, applications than BM series. Uh, there are two cores uh, here in this series, 32-bit and 64-bit. Again, here like in BM series, it is uh, the same code base for both cores. Mm. These cores are do issue means they could execute up to two instructions per cycle. They implement nine stage pipeline, which allowed to clock core at 1.2 gigahertz at 28 nanometer worst conditioning silicon. Uh, the performance numbers for dry stone Carmack given here, so they are pretty much competitive. Um, where, um, Many use cases, but I prefer to give you examples what we saw already at the customer side. We have customer uh, building industrial automation SOC based on BR351. At uh, this application, customer needs uh, more performance since quite intensive networking workloads should be performed by CPU subsystem. One core is uh, taking care on industrial network protocols while another uh, care on application itself. In industrial SOC, there are security concerns. So um, physical memory protection uh, should be enabled for networking, crypto, and uh, application processes isolation. And also low latency is concerned. So an extension needed to handle the interrupts uh, in user mode uh, and uh, as well as important to feature to reduce latency is uh, direct access to TCM memory so that you can directly place Ethernet packets in the TCM memories of the cores and this is enabled by uh, front port and uh, TCM arbiter schemes. To execute code directly from embedded flash, uh, instruction caches with prefetch engine were used. And of course, course should support, should work together in this system and uh, atomic extension with uh, capability to perform operations in neighbor call Tightly coupled memory is required to support easier synchronization mechanisms. Uh, another case for BR course is to work as in line uh, programmable accelerator. For instance, on the video or uh, networking, uh, for instance, on video or networking processing chains, the data could be placed directly. Uh, into TCM memories um, and process it uh, at speeds of uh, above one gigahertz. Um, for such scenario, core could uh, take care not only about the data path, but also on the control path, controlling some accelerator, which is uh, uh, in the same pipeline as the core. And to last uh, but not least uh, is uh, Linux capable uh, BI series. In this product series, we have uh, three cores uh, BI 350, tiny CPU for IoT applications, uh, BI 651, dual issue power efficient uh, core, and um, BI 671, out of order mid range uh, application CPU. Uh, BI uh, 350 is a small uh, machine uh, uh, to provide just Linux function and IoT device, so it's more target less uh, area, so core, core corplex uh, subsystems uh, are configurable in a way to uh, minimize uh, um, occupied area, including the caches, 
which you can select the size, uh, cache line size, uh, narrow width of memory interfaces, and etc. Branch prediction. So um, with these uh, options, you can configure core as small as uh, possible to fit in a small uh, budget of uh, IoT SOCs. The i651 is a power efficient core for A53 replacement use cases. Uh, internal benchmarking shows a leading performance the numbers in SPEC 2006 benchmark, which is in contrast with the Drystone and Cormark results shows not only execution pipeline performance, but also memory subsystem performance, which is especially important for uh, Linux cores. Uh, or more performance you more performance you can achieve uh, this out of order bi 671 core uh, we keep this core not so aggressive in terms of in terms of out of order structures to reduce the power consumptions but anyway we achieved uh, 75 to 80 percent of uh, performance uh, of view 84 or announced by Sci-5, where we implement two-way superscalar comparing to four-way, uh, which allow to reduce the area and power. It is 1.5 to 1.8 times faster than uh, ARM Cortex uh, uh, A53, and in many scenarios, dual-core BI671 would replace quad core A53 with better area efficiency. If you compare BI671 and BI651, BI671 consumes only 13 more, 13% 13 more area. Even more if you compare dual core with integrated layer 2 cache there will be only 7% uh, difference between core corplexes based on BI651 and BI671. Uh, but uh, while, uh, while out of order nature of BI671 allow us to achieve 50% uh, more performance with like mentioned here, the slightly area increasing. In memory throughput benchmarks, so we even saw up to 80 to 90% improvement uh, of uh, performance uh, in uh, case of uh, out of order core versus in order implementations. What is common for all cores in BI series, they could be combined into multi core cluster. Uh, we support full hardware coherency for such configuration and uh, as well uh, coherency control uh, with external devices. Uh, we have a configurable high performance memory subsystem. We implemented fully non blocking non layer one and layer two caches, means cores continue to continue executions. Uh, execution of instructions, uh, even if cache miss or several cache misses occur, until some instruction is dependent on the load data which was missed. Uh, to enable this feature, we support multiple outstanding requests in layer one and layer two caches uh, with out of order completion support. The sizes of uh, request buffers are also configurable, so you can also optimize them depending on your needs. To simplify integration in uh, small uh, mid size SOCs, we implement lightweight coherency control mechanisms. If you connect the accelerator or peripheral device to core complex front port, and if it wants to access uh, the cacheable memory space. Uh, at step one, 
at step one. Uh, it's ask the coherency controller via front port. And at step two, coherency controller will ask layer two about cache line presence in it. And if it hits layer two cache, layer two, based on information in Snoop directory, will know that some of layer one caches uh, could hold modified data. And it will snoop such caches at step three to retrieve the uh, most recent uh, modified data if it's modified. And at step four, get a response and uh, then uh, deliver it to the coherency controller and it will return it to accelerator without need to make any transactions uh, to external memory. All these things uh, are demonstrated today at our virtual booth. Uh, please visit um, it to look at the BI671 running Debian Linux. Uh, this photo is for um, embedded world, but at the booth we have a uh, more nice video showing how it works. Um, so that's uh, it, uh, this overview of our product line. Uh, Please join the presentation later today about VM310 to learn more details about support features and options. And yeah, thank you for your attention.